Hello friends, welcome to this video. Today I will show you how to automate starting and stopping virtual machines in Azure using an automation account. If you are managing multiple VMs and try of doing it manually, this simple automation will save you time, efforts and money. Perfect for keeping cost under control. Before we begin, you need to just a few things ready. Azure subscription with access to your VMs, permission to create automation account and run books, your VMs organized in resource group. This is very important. Don't worry, if you are new to this, I will explain everything clearly. Step one is to create Azure automation account. Open the Azure portal, search for the automation account. Click on create. Select the resource group where you want to create. I will choose this resource group. The name of the automation account. You can type anything what you want. And the region I'm going to select East US as a region. I will keep everything as default now because that properties doesn't require it. And let's click on create button. And done. Your automation account is ready in less than two minutes. You can see here, let me click on automation account. Our automation account is ready now. Next, we will add the PowerShell script to the runbook. This script automates the starting and stopping the VMs. Let me go to the runbooks. Let me create a runbook. You can provide the name to the runbook. So let me create the runbook for stop VM, stop web VM. It will ask for the runbook type. So we are going to create a PowerShell runbook and 7.2 is the recommended one. And let me click on review and create. So I have a script already created. Let me copy and paste it here and I'm, I will walk through it. First is the parameter which is going to require to run this runbook, the resource group name, naming string and the action. From line number nine, as you can see, it is going to log into uh, Azure using connect as the account. The script then fetch the VM using get as a VM. Once it will fetch the VM, it will process each VM and either start or stop it's based on the input you provided, okay? Now let's move further and let's test our script. Click on test pane. Copy the resource group name which where the VMs are there, resides. Now, ATH, WB, the ATH, WB, that's the VM substring. And we need to start the VM. So as you can see on the portal, the VMs are in a stop and deallocated state. So let's, uh, run this one so now you can see the status is queued once it will you know, starting and then it will be in a running state then we we will see the status of the vm it will take few more minutes to complete so as you can see now it's starting in a few minutes or few seconds it will be in a running state 
then we can see. Now you can see it's in a running state. Let's see on a portal. Now you can see both the VFs are in a running state now. And we have the output here as well. That's the starting the VM, ATH, WB, 002 VM, and the resource group name. Now let's test for the stop. But now we are going to schedule this job to run based on our requirement. For the demo, I am going to schedule it after uh, five minutes from now. But before I schedule it, I need to publish this. So to publish this, I need to again edit in a portal. Okay. I need to click on publish. Now it's published. Once it will publish, then we need to go to the schedules. From schedule, you need to select add schedule. You need to click on schedule. It will ask to create the new schedule. To create the schedule, click on add schedule. Name of the schedule should be start web again. You can choose what you want. Okay. Uh, you can choose uh, like how frequently you want to run. So you can choose per hour, day, week or month. So I'm not going to choose this one. I'm only going to choose once. It's saying it should be five minutes after. So let me select 42 as per my local time. Let me hit on create. So as you can see, the schedule is created. Now we need to configure the parameters. So same thing. Copy the parameter, resource group name, and ATH WB, ATH WB action should be start. Click OK. OK. Now you can see the schedule is attached. Let me quickly stop the VMs. In the meantime, uh, this job get completes. Let me skip this part and I will be back once the job gets completed after five minutes. So let me refresh. As you can see, the job was executed on the time. Now it's saying skewed. Let me refresh it again and you can see it's starting. Let's wait for a few more minutes or we can click on the job or we can see what is going on here. So as you can see, as an input, we have provided this AJX 0 web RG start as action and name substream substring is ATHWB. We can see the output. So as you can see, it's saying that start command issued for the VM. 
this one and another one as well you can also see the errors if any errors occurred warnings or you can see all logs what is happening with the vms oh, sorry uh, in the job you can see that it is logging to azure fetching the vm in a resource group it says found two vms starting this uh, web 001 start command issue starting another one the same output you can see here let me go to the portal and we can see the vms we stopped previously now it's in a running state so that is how you can automate azure start azure vm to be scheduled start stop so it will help you to save some cost whenever you are not using that vms and there you go you have successfully completed starting and stopping vm in azure using an automation account this setup will make your life easier and help optimize your azure billing if you found this tutorial helpful please do like the video and subscribe the channel for more practical azure tips comment below if you have any doubts or want more tutorial like this thank you i will see you in the next video dhanyawad